Creating a mushroom fruiting chamber is one of the most important aspects to fruiting high quality mushrooms. A mushroom fruiting chamber can be a wide range of sizes um, from a 53 foot trailer to just a 2 by 2 square foot tent. It doesn't really depend on how big. There's some common themes that you can find in all mushroom fruiting chambers. Now, one of the couple of the things to consider when you're thinking about creating a fruiting room is you want to create a clean, controlled area to properly fruit mushrooms. So this will mean the area will be wet, it will have a high humidity, so you want to make sure that the fruiting chamber is located somewhere um, that can hold on to some moisture. So ideally on a concrete floor, and if you have access to a drain, um, putting it on a drain is, is very, very helpful. You want to make sure you can clean it easily. This doesn't need to be a sterile environment or hyper clean, but usually once a week we'll clean down our grow room uh, with, a, with a different um, cleaning solution. Ideally, a uh, grow room would be rectangular and not square. And this is so that the airflow can disturb the air more, more evenly and there aren't corners um, of air that, that don't get moved. So um, airflow is an extremely important aspect to fruiting mushrooms and making sure that there's adequate oxygen and not high levels of CO2 um, makes for high quality mushrooms. Um, and then the last thing is where does the exhaust air go? So the mushrooms are creating spores as they're growing and fruiting so you want to make sure and the air is also pretty high humidity so if possible you want to exhaust it outside of a house or anywhere that you're working. Now a mushroom fruiting chamber doesn't have to be super high tech. This is one of the second rooms that we built. It was in a tobacco barn on a uh, concrete slab and we just did very simple uh, stick framing of wood and then put plastic over the whole uh, whole thing. So this was about a 25 by 14 foot room. It was a three season room because we didn't insulate it, but we were able to produce over 150, 200 pounds a week out of this room. Here it is completed, totally wrapped in plastic, nothing fancy, but when we went in there, there were lots and lots of mushrooms. So what are the important parameters when we're thinking about creating a fruiting chamber? There's four of the most important things. CO2, humidity, lighting, and temperature. And in later videos, we'll go through each one of those and how to control them and different equipment. And there's even a video I have out now about the fruiting room that talks about those things. Um, but ideally, you want the CO2, and this varies some by species, but ideally the CO2 below 800 parts per million, the humidity above 80%, lighting so that's comfortable enough to see and work and maybe even read if you want to like sit in your fruiting room and read a book just hang out uh, you want adequate lighting for that um, and temperature ideally temperature would be somewhere around 60 to 65 degrees now here's the first room that we we built you can see it's very similar uh, wooden structure wooden framing and then plastic on the inside and the, the bottom right photo is a, fo a photo of the inside of it. And we just had, um, you know, at first we had six shelves, and then we ended up putting about 12 shelves in there. And we were capable of producing around 100 pounds a week in this one room. So rough numbers for gourmet mushrooms of how much mushrooms can be produced in a 16 by 8 room. Well, about 150 pounds per week, which is pretty amazing. So if we break this down further, that one room can hold about 12 shelves. These shelves, these uh, plastic shelves that I'm picturing right here, um, that room can hold about 12 of them. Each shelf can hold 32 bags. So that means we're, we can cycle in, if we have uh, bags every four weeks, we can cycle in 96 bags per week. And so one bag fruits about one pound. So we're getting 96 pounds off of that bag. And then, two weeks later, it's going to fruit another half pound. So those same bags will produce about 48 pounds over the course, uh, 48 pounds in the third or fourth week that they're in the fruiting room. So the total there, we've got 144 pounds per week. 
So as you get this moving, you know, you have some bags fruiting for the first time, some fruiting for the second time, some just resting, and there's just a continuous uh, flow of, of blocks coming in and going out and coming in and going out. And this is primarily with like shiitakes and lion's mane and piopino and chestnut. Shiitakes have closer to a 10-day uh, crop cycle, so those you'd be moving even faster um, and, and potentially generating more um, mushrooms per week with shiitakes. Um, and if you're looking at kind of a wholesale, uh, small-scale value, eight to twelve dollars a pound, this can be anywhere from a thousand to seventeen hundred dollars per week. That's really good for a sixteen by eight foot room. So you can see why people get really excited by the numbers of uh, mushrooms and the possibility of of cultivating mushrooms. So thanks for giving this a listen, and um, be sure to check out our other videos.